as the terrain of the Gulf Coast is relatively flat, even a small rise in sea levels could trigger an immense loss of land. Sea turtle numbers have exploded here. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating them. After years of eating the same meal of frozen herring at Fish Fingers, Casanita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. I catch three of them killer whales they got there at Fish Fingers. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the wheelers really gotta work on those side aerials. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating them.
aggressive ocean predators encounter it, anything can happen. Sanita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. I catch three of them killer whales they got there at Fish Fingers. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the wheelers really gotta work on those side aerials. is relentless in his pursuit of their quarry. It took weeks for our crew to earn the shark hunters' trust, to convince them we were not insurance investigators questioning their disability claims. I catch three of them killer whales they got their fish fingers. Would say I got a real clean eye for talent. Although, the wheelers really gotta work on those side areas. Prosperity Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. Smell unusual, or is that just poor With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. As we face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime, there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage.
shark's palate's more refined, they prepare their turtle meat with just a splash of Amontillado. Well, I said to them, you better build that boardwalk higher, because you just asking for a shark attack how you got it now. But do they listen to me? No, not at all. alarms fills the air as shark hunters lead their homes to track our bull shark. Bounty for a shark out in Caviar King. Do what you do, hunters. Get loaded for shark. It's hunting time. Another shark hunt draws to a close. build that boardwalk higher, because you just asking for a shark attack how you got it now. But do they listen to me? No, not at all.
Okay, maybe I don't know how to properly stock and manage a fish pond, but it's a learning process. be more practical simply to close the beaches. But why do that when you can just set loose a gang of amphetamine-fueled locals with guns? Your caviar key, bring your guns! Bring your guns! Okay. Maybe I don't know how to properly stock and manage a fish pond, but it's a learning process. Orcas, once the featured attraction at marine mammal parks, now have a new favorite trick, killing things. is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's.
white and black attack. The Orca. upon the shark's oversized liver, high in vitamins A, C, and B12, plus iron and riboflavin. Coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive Americans vulnerable to the graft of beach umbrella renters.
white and black attack. The Orca. will now feast upon the shark's oversized liver, high in vitamins A, C, and B12, plus iron and riboflavin. Coastal risk analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program. White and black attack, the orc.
Each year, North American offshore drilling rigs leak about 880,000 gallons of oil into the sea, leaving it for marine wildlife who know nothing about running a profitable energy company. Necessary for the bull to be cautious, as killer whales are well known predators of several shark species. sharks as the hounds of the sea, and this one is certainly living up to its reputation. To catch a kingfish is with a wire leader twin treble bait rig on a seven foot rod. Or you can just be assured. the featured attraction at marine mammal parks now have a new favorite trick, killing things.
This yacht, like many in Port Clovis, was registered in the Caymans to avoid onerous taxes and regulations. the grisly horrors that await them upon a single mystery. To see this area is to witness the inability of the hydrosphere to support the growth of humanized landscapes along the coast. Your hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. Just one of many major currents that mariners have used since time immemorial to circumnavigate the globe. as the situation further escalates. among the world's seas. Vigilante fever has seized Port Clovis, making it dangerous for anything that swims.
being natural cowards, shark hunters will often call for backup upon spotting their prey. Reports out by caviar. avoid catastrophic risks for future generations, but then we couldn't have 4x4 four four pickups with 5.7 liter V8 engines. The ocean is fluid and fascinating, always changing, forever in motion. Along Blanchard County's 78-mile coastline, there are 35 miles of sandy beach, only six of which aren't owned by resorts, individuals, or home of the corn-fed colossus, Butcher Boy Brady. Looks like our shark. The planet's great tides encircle the globe in constant motion. The idea that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justin. Only because he wasn't able to consult with the Association of Resort Developers at Turnley Wise Lobbyists. Humans have seen less than 5% of our oceans means there's still plenty of treasure out there for everyone. Many consider the Gulf Stream to be the world's greatest current, but for my money, you can't beat that Kurashi. The ocean is a source of life, inspiration, and eternal renewal, but mostly it exists to be exploited and commodified by humans. For more than three-fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited. Not a single destination spa anywhere could be seen. Once you accept that our modern industrial civilization is just one among many that have risen and fallen, then you can finally surrender peacefully to our inevitable collapse. and quasi-legal get-rich-quick schemes set aside for now, the shark hunters get to work. As the terrain of the Gulf Coast is relatively flat, even a small rise in sea levels could trigger an immense loss of land. As we face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. The ocean waters are driven constantly by tides, currents, and Saudi-owned super heats.
coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive Americans vulnerable to the threat of each umbrella renters. Coastal risk analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program. The Gulf Stream brings warm waters northeast across the Atlantic towards English seaside towns, filled with cranky pensioners, donkey rides, and heroin events. Due to Caviar Key's increased coastal exposure, storms that had a minor impact three decades ago caused significant flooding today. Hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle.